Sophia. What's going on with Tesla? Yeah, Mr. Benja, this is something I thought was very interesting. This is Jackson Pajaja. Ah, can't even say it. But basically, Tesla also fired a bunch of folks as well, <laughs> Elon. So it's a lot of things going on there with sales decreasing and things like that. But it looks like Tesla issued a recall for 3,878 Cybertrucks delivered to customers on his website. They didn't say that it was anything. They basically just said that it was an issue with, I guess they said, a faulty accelerated pedal. But it is very interesting to see them recall something that really was supposed to be really hyped out there and got so many people excited about because of the brand, right? The Tesla brand. So this just is further proof that maybe Elon's got too much on his plate right now and focused on this is this brand isn't what it used to be. And, and the stock market shows it, right? Tesla is down from his, definitely from his highs. It was a darling, right? During the pandemic. But now it's just definitely dying out right here when you look at the stock price and everything. So yeah, it's about 147 and what a year ago it was, what in the shoot in the 250s. So it's down a hundred or so. So yeah, it's not doing right now, but yeah, Mr. Benjamin, what is this? What do you think? Is, is Tesla still going to be a strong electronic vehicle brand or EV brand going forward? Or what are your thoughts when you heard about this recall? It's interesting. I don't know. I don't know what the people are up to. Tesla brand is still strong with a lot of Tesla fans. And this era is much more accepting of faults with technology and something new. So I think a lot of the people who are Tesla fans, they're like, oh yeah, the accelerator pedal, it can pop off. It, it's like a, it's really a small fix. It's just like the, the part of the pedal can come off. So if you're accelerating and slips or something, it's a it's oh, bad yeah. business to be on accelerator, but it's not, it's going to explode in a electrical ball of flames and take out a 7-Eleven. It's just, yeah, screw it back in, basically. I would think that there are many bigger problems, like the fact that the trunk can really damage your fingers. They don't have safety precautions on the trunk like they should, but somehow, mm. yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't think it'll do much damage. I think it's one of those negative publicity things that could possibly be spun in, back into, hey, look, wasn't that big of a deal. Let's go Cybertruck version two. They have best... They have best-selling video games that shift and don't work day one. Mm -hmm. And they just, and it's known that they don't work day one. But it's like, hey, when the patch shows up, it'll automatically be downloaded and you'll be playing before anybody else. Cool. Give me my copy. It's okay. That's where we are now. <laughs> yeah. The difference between a video game and a truck that's going to be driven on a highway. <laughs> yeah. That one can kill you instantly. And one... <laughs> It's just a sucky game. So it's, it's one of those things that just, you can't compare the two, but the power of brand, we talk about this on this podcast all the time. I was looking at Elon Musk's follower account. Obviously he owns X or Twitter, but he's got over 180 million followers on, on X. And that means something. So when he speaks, people listen. And we saw all the shenanigans he gets into when something is out there. We know every thought he puts on X as soon as he thinks it, if he puts it out there. So. He's also followed a lot. And so he can say things. So it's just this new brand of entrepreneur or high level uh, entrepreneur who is almost like a Teflon Don, right? They can't, Trump is the same way. He came from the entrepreneur space, but he's untouchable. And so it's like things can happen to the brand and all that stuff. I don't think it's going to be something that substantially hinders Tesla. Like you said, is people are buying it just because, and because it's Tesla, he could come out with a pencil. He could come out with some new shoes. People will buy it. It doesn't matter. And we talked about this with Kanye did a, what, 30-second Super Bowl commercial on a yeah. grainy phone and sold out, what, 19, was it how many shoes? How many did he sell? 19 million? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah just, <laughs> sheesh. just like that. So anyway, so it's the power of the brand, being a monopoly that way. Like I said, I think Tesla would be fine. They're just going through issues right now. I heard somebody at a grocery store talking about their Yeezy order. They said, dude, my order came in. Said, oh, really? Yeah, dude. When you got yours, I was pissed. But now I got mine. And they were like, oh. And they were being all loud in the aisle. So I was like, hmm. all right. Pass by the, the yogurt aisle. And you're like, what was that? Exactly. Yeah. 
I love it. But yeah, it's a, but that marketing is a thing now. As I said before, Zuck is doing a similar thing where he's out there. Hey, this is my life. And it's a little more planned. It's a little more chill and cleaned up. But you can tell that he's trying to get out there the same way that Trump, Ye, and Elon are. He's just trying to be out there as a face and everything. They put a little makeup on him. He doesn't look like a walking dead reject anymore. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, man. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Anything else on Tesla? Nah, man. I think we beat that to death. <laughs> but please be careful when you driving your cyber truck. Please be careful. And you're slamming your foot on that accelerator. Don't let it wobble off. Get it screwed back in professionally. 